Okay, I should technically be ready in three minutes, but I have to get dressed. Everything and more. It's a shade. One, two, three, let's go! Hello vlog. Let's get into this gorgeous date night friendly makeup. To begin, I'm going to use my Genifique serum, which I'm almost finished my first bottle ever. I've had so many of these from previous Lancome purchases because I usually get their holiday beauty box. And I was just about to buy one when I realized I really have a few unopened bottles. So we're not even going to bother to purchase anymore. I say that and then you see me with one. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use the even better clinical, and this is the dark spot corrector. One of the things I've been doing with my skincare lately is layering it enough to where I do not feel my skin, if that makes sense. As a final step for my skincare today, I'm going to be using the Moisture Surge 100 Hour, and we're really almost done. I guess I was right, this really is a three week trial. I definitely have to keep my lips hydrated, so I'm going to go in with my EOS Balm. I don't know what scent this is, but it's this one. <laughs> so good. Now I'm going to go in with this close to empty e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I've been loving this lately for makeup. It definitely gives me all day wear. I could have transitioned with the makeup that I was using earlier, but I didn't want to have to go through all of that, so I tried to keep it as simple as possible. And look at the grip. We love to see it. Lately, I've been doing a little bit of underpainting, and I've been using my Lancome Taunt Idol concealers. And this is in the shade 495, and this one is in the shade 435. So for these, the first thing I always do is clean the excess off of the brush and then go ahead right under this area of my brow and go through the concealing process and then i'll apply it every other area that i want to highlight so i like to put a generous amount on the inner part of my under eye and then i'll use the other shade to conceal the rest of my face. So right here, for the front and the tail end of my brow, and then around my mouth area, and lastly, on my blemishes. I've realized that makeup does not always do a great job of concealing my dark spots which is why i've been using the clinique skincare lately to try to see if i could correct it the ones on my forehead are definitely contributed to the fact that i don't know how to stop picking certain areas of my face right here we have a little bit of sun damage but i do wear daily spf so that's getting much better and then i mean that's just it for the rest of it to start the blending process i'm going to go in with this real techniques soft accent brush and this pretty much looks like a paw i like to go in and just tap over the concealer whenever i do makeup for date night i like to go a more full coverage route not because i'm hiding anything but just because i know i feel my best when there's nothing wrong with my makeup so i'll always reapply it even if I was wearing makeup earlier, unless of course it's one of those date nights where I'm leaving work and going directly to my location to meet up with my friends. Now I'm going to go under here, looking upward into my mirror and tapping that all under my eye. Lately, as I've been layering this specific product, I've realized that it gives me a bit more coverage because when I go into sets, I've realized that sometimes the makeup removes and so I'll look like there's makeup missing specifically from that area. And since I don't like that, 
I try to be very careful and use a brush specifically for that. Now I'm just finishing off the concealer blending process by connecting everything on the eye area. I've been loving this Lancome Taunt Idol Ultra Wear. This is the new formula of foundation and my shade is 500C. I've been loving this more so because I feel like I don't have to use a lot of it to get the impact that I'm looking for. Rather than do the underpainting technique for my blush and my bronzer, I'm just going to go in with my foundation where I do not have any concealer. I'm not putting a lot of product over each other because I'm definitely going to go in and like tweak it as I go along. Definitely can see the reflection of my blemish, but I really don't care enough to completely conceal it. I'm going to apply one more pump so basically this is two pumps of foundation now i'm going to go in and apply some bronzer and this is the elf putty bronzer and this one is in the shade sunkissed i've been really enjoying this product because it's so smooth and super creamy so i'm gonna start here in the corner of my eye and just take that down my nose Another reason I don't worry about my blemishes is because I go in with contour in that area. So it kind of distracts from that general color. I don't really conceal my chin, but I feel empowered to do it tonight. So let's just chisel her just a touch. I'm going to go back in with my sponge just to give me the softest bronze. And then I go in and I blend out my nose area. So I'm realizing that under my eyes look a little bright for my liking. So I'm going to go over it with just some excess product and soften that line of demarcation I was seeing. Next, I'm going to go in for a liquid blush. And for this one, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Putty Blush. What is the shade? I cannot see the shade name on this one. The sticker must have come off. But if I do ever figure out what color it is, I will be sure to mention it in the description box. So I'll be going in with this putty blush as well as this liquid blush from Juvia's Place in the shade Barbie Rose. Because I've been trying to create a fall blush combo and I think this is doing it for me. So I go in first with the Barbie Rose blush and I have a specific brush that I like to use for it because... It's kind of new to me in a way. So I've been using a dual fiber brush to do blush. I've seen other people do this before, but I've never tried it for myself. And we all know by now, I hope, that the Juvia's Place blush is super pigmented. So I'm going to show you how I tone it down. It could get real crazy real fast. So that's why I like using something a little darker and a bit more rosy. And I'm going to stipple this over my blush just to sort of not make it so pink, but make it a little berry as well. And to tone it down, I go in with my foundation sponge and I just tap it into the area that I put it. That way it looks like I'm blushing and not so much like someone punched me in the face. You could put a little bit of foundation on here to tone it down just a touch, but you know, do what works best for you. So I partially missed out where I use my Laura Mercier powder just to go ahead in and set my under eyes and my forehead. So since I told you, <laughs> let's move on to the next step. So I've been using and loving the dual finish powder from Lancome and my shade is 510C. I'm just using this to set the rest of my face and sort of chisel my blush area. And then I'm gonna use it to soften any harsh edges this is pretty much the face for my eyes i love keeping it simple this is the icing eyeshadow base from glam light and i like to put this all over my eyes and use the same brush i use for my concealer just to tone it down a touch using a fluffy brush i'm going to be using 
the shade purpose from this mini manifest bronze eyeshadow palette and just in case i happen to skip forward and you're like how do you have eyeshadow on i didn't realize i wasn't recording i started off using the shade purpose all over my eye and then i used the shade intention all over my lid and then just in the center of my lid i use the shade radiant i'm gonna use this beautiful clinique hi-fi mascara because she has been everything and more i really enjoy using this and putting a couple of layers on my eye because it doesn't look clumpy it just gives a whole lot of volume this is where we started this is where we are now so it's giving my lashes a natural lift and it's also giving me volume and length i love a mascara that has everything in one okay i should technically be ready in three minutes but i have to get dressed so i'm going to use my cola lip liner just because it was the one closest to my hand i'm gonna top off my lips using black honey Finish off with whatever setting spray you prefer, but since I believe I have to go soon, I'm going to get dressed, but not before I show you guys some other stuff. For my fragrances tonight, I'm going to be using the Lancome Edol. This is the original. If you guys have smelled the Lancome Edol now, oh my gosh, that one needs to get into my hands. And then I'm going to top that with the Dior. This is the Parfum Dough. I like to just layer that. I'm definitely going to put some more on when I put my outfit on. I'll check in when I have the rest of my fit on. This is what we're looking like from the waist up. And if I can, I'll try to get a full body picture so you can see. This is my outfit of the day. We're keeping it simple. We're keeping it cute. If you have the time to view the entirety of this video, I just want to say thank you. Leave me some tips down below of your favorite products that you use whenever it is that you head out. And if I have it, I'll be sure to use it. And of course, give you a shout out for giving that bomb recommendation. Bye.